they're going to run the Wildcat this time. And that's Ridgewell as he's inside the 35, inside the 40, and still on his feet as he's wrestled down finally at the 33. Wow, what a great run by Ethan. And uh, I noticed uh, this right off time. Four man rush by the Mustangs. They get off the Darby. He's free inside the 20, inside the 10, and I think they may have pushed him out of bounds on that about the quickly to the line of scrimmage. They're going to run the two tier again, and Livingston's going to try to sneak in, and he is in. Touchdown, Pioneer, Eli Livingston, a yard out. On the spread offense. Akins has it. No, it's Trevon Gordon, and he throws a pass complete, and up over the 40 to the 43 from the shotgun, flanked by Akins. Gives it to Aikens, right side, spin move. And this time he's wrapped up at about the 35 yard line for a loss. He's really no man front. Gordon, play action pass, drops back. And it's gonna be hit and dropped by Llewellyn all the way back down in about three. They pitch it to the tailback and he's into, Rigel is into Forest City territory and he's inside the 20, inside the 10, the five, touchdown, wow. What, what a, a great game. run by Ridgel, and once he got in that open field. Max Gordon throws it left side to Aikens, and he's going to be hit and dropped all the way back to 20. And, man, with the Pioneers ready for that one, Ronald. High formation, Livingston hands it off to Ridgel, and he breaks it into the secondary, and he's got more, and he breaks another tackle inside the 20. Inside the 10, the 5, touchdown. What an amazing run, oh Ronald. Oh, my goodness. What wow. an amazing run. Wow. Aikens. Hands it up to the tailback, and he's going to be wrestled down by Llewellyn. Back at about right side, just to the left. A play action pass. Aiken still has the football. Wants to throw it. It's going to be hit and drop at about the 29 yard line. Fourth down at 17. Aiken from the gun. Rolls left. Wants to throw. Looks back the other way. It's going to be hit and drop. Back at the 40. Jared Vickers. And Jack Lanier. Livingston. From the shotgun, wants to throw it, throws it left side to Jace, and he's got it inside the 40, inside the 20, 35, inside the 30, down to about the 26. Livingston marks and throws it back to Mitchell, who's inside the 10, all the way down to about the 8. And a golden opportunity for the Mustangs here with the short field. Livingston from the shotgun, throws it into the end zone, looking for Daughtery. He's got it. Scored Storley, touchdown. Will, they hand it off to Ridgel. Ridgel into Forest City territory, inside the 40, inside the 35, and run out of bounds at about the 28-yard line. So there's about a 23-yard run, and 10, nine seconds, clock running. Flash and pass, Aikens in trouble, gets away, and gonna be hit, drop from behind. By, was that uh, Llewellyn? It was. He stalked her in motion to this near side. There's some fun play. Look, throws it over the middle, and Storley caught it through the hands of the Forest City defender at the 33. He actually got a piece of it, Ronald. High formation. Play action pass. Livingston forced out of the pocket. He's going to run it. Inside the 20, inside the 15. Cuts across the field, 10-5, touchdown, Eli Livingston. Wow, wow. six yard touchdown run, and we're gonna be in the mercy rule. Wow. This is the formation story, rolls left, and Doug throws it. He caught? I think he got it. Actually, no, they're gonna say he caught it. Yeah, I wow. thought he got it. Wow. Very I nice. thought he That's a great catch by Ethan. Right up the gut, and he's going to be hit, drop, gang tackles, and the JVs, about eight of the JVs try to get in on that tackle. The last play of the game was more than blocking. Keeper, right side, somebody tackling. Oh, oh yeah, they got, they got him. him. Somebody got him. Who was that? Ronald Richardson, Mark Lambert back at Pioneer Stadium. The Pioneers have won it by a final score of 42 to 12. Pioneers at midfield right now as the baseball Pioneers, Mark, get to give Coach King a special ceremony as this was Coach King's 200th victory at Batesville.